Okay, Julio is setting up the four ball machine here. He's already placed the grease into the cup and the three lower balls. This ring helps secure them tightly in there. And then he screws down the nut. Okay, let's take a look there. So, inside that cup, we've got three balls that are covered with grease. Nice. Gonna clamp those down with a torque wrench. Here we go. Sixty foot pounds. Chuck, uh, still up in there? maybe in the machine still. Yeah. Okay. The chuck holds the upper ball, the one that spins. Got to put a new ball into it. Whether you're running the four ball wear or the four ball weld, all of this part is the same. The difference comes in the in the machine settings, the load and the speed and the duration. So it's firmly clamping that ball into the chuck, stick the chuck in the machine. Before you start it up, Julio, I'll just take a look in there as best I can just to Okay, yeah. Take a look at that. If we can. You can see that the chuck sticking down. And that, that's the ball that does the rotating. And the force comes from below. This, this cup here gets kind of forced up against the ball. Okay, that's the heater? Yeah, okay. for your worst car. For the worst car, it's heated to what temperature? 70? 167. 167 Fahrenheit. Yes. No, I did not know that. Okay. With 40 kilograms. Okay, this is the worst car test, so uh, it's, it's set to 40, and it's run for one hour. If this were the wear test, the load would be much higher, and it's run for 10 seconds. But all we're showing in this video is just the setup, what it looks like. And I think we've covered that. Now, what are you doing over here at the computer, Julio? Oh, I'm just going to set up to check the uh, coefficient of friction in the sample at the same time. Okay, so while it's running, this this will measure the friction level. That's an additional option. that, And the product in this case is matrix. I think we've seen everything. Thanks, Julio. Okay, buddy.